Okay, let's start with the basic uh, research. Let's say you want a recipe for banana bread. Recipe banana bread. Obviously, in the results, you're going to find a recipe for banana bread, but at the same time, you'll find recipes for bread that call for banana also, or banana could be um, outside of the recipe on the web page. Um, so you want to be sure it's going to be banana bread and not something else. So if you want to be sure, you just use quotes around banana bread. That means I need the exact sequence of words, so I want banana um, followed by the word bread. If you don't use quotes, it means that Google is going to search for the three words anywhere on a, on a single page. So it doesn't matter whether they are uh, one after another or um, banana in the first paragraph and bread at the end. So recipe banana bread. So this is exactly what we want. If, on the other hand, you do not like cinnamon, um, you say, okay, I want a recipe for banana bread. I do not want cinnamon on the same page. So you just use minus cinnamon. Actually, if you see here, like this, we had 6 million results. And without cinnamon, it went down to 4.5. So you've got the double quotes that um, mean I need the exact um, expression and then you've got minus to exclude a word. Other than that, imagine that there is an expression you cannot uh, recall. Um, so, you know, in English you've got the expression uh, the pot calling the kettle black. And you, you cannot find all the words. So you say, okay, I know there's something about a pot and then there are some words, blah, blah, blah. And then there is something which is going to be called black. So instead of doing something like this, you can use an asterisk. So this means I want the exact expression. That's why we we'll have the double quotes and then I want the word part or pot um, then there's something something there and then there was a word black the asterisk, me asterisk means that there is something there it could be nothing or it could be one character or a thousand characters and um, it could be a character it could be a letter it could be anything so if I do something like that And in f it found what I wanted. Of course, it went pot by black because the asterisk could be the word by. So you have to be the more a bit more specific. But at least we got the result we needed. So of course, pot chicken black. So it could be a bit, um um a bit vague. But at least we got what we needed. Another useful operator. Um, so you need the location of the World Championship in Athletics. You want both um, 2011 or it could be actually either the championship for 2011 or 2013. So instead of doing something like this, getting the result and then changing to that you can do it in one um, search so you could say I want either the World Championship in Athletics in 2011 or 2013 so this is the same thing as this or this so you mean either or so you've got the results and you're going to have both for 2013 and 2011. So we only did one Google search and we found two results at the same time. Another operator. 
So let's say um, you need a car whose max speed is between um, 100 and 150 kilometers. Oh, let's say that's a bit too low. So 150 to 200 kilometers. You're not going to do something like this per hour and then search 151, 52, 53. So you cannot do something like this. It doesn't work in Google. So what you can do is this. It means from 150 to 200. And here you're going to have the result. Let's go higher. So here you've got uh, 317, uh, 400, 365, blah, 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 etc. So you got uh, many different, um, many different possibilities or you want to find something really, really fast. Go like that or 300, it doesn't matter. Um, if you don't know, if you don't have a maximum value, you don't need one, you say, okay, I want something whose max speed is from 250 to, I don't care. So that means infinite. You go like that and it could be 500, it could be anything. So you've got 375, um, 415, 408, etc. Or you could go the other way around. You, you need a slow car, so you could say, "I want something." Uh, I don't know. I don't care about the minimum speed, but I want it up to um 150. See it again. Sorry, this is a thing. Up to. And you go here, and you've got cars with a top speed of 60 kilometers um, so we've got 150 blah 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 now let's imagine you want a recipe for a Christmas um, dessert but it could be instead of dessert you like either dessert or patisserie or whatever any synonym so you're not going to search uh, do different searches, recipe Christmas dessert, recipe Christmas uh, patisserie, um, cake or whatever. What you can use is this, the tilt. That means you can replace dessert by any synonym it has. So Google has a dictionary and it got, it's got um, a synonym so you don't really know what it, what they are but you know recipe Christmas dessert and let's say here if you go really low you might find synonyms somewhere here could be cookies or whatever uh, so um, you gotta go really low because the word recipe is so um, ubiquitous that you're not going to yeah normally it works like that so it did work but it's uh, difficult to verify. Other than that, there are some special words or words with special meaning. Um, for example, if you go uh, weather London, it gives you the weather channel or whatever, uh, this gadget with the results. So you've got the normal results here and then you've got uh, this gadget or you can go time um, Tokyo and there's another gadget or you need the definition of a word define colon and then you've got um, for example yeah irony yeah why not and this is the gadget with the um, explanation, the definition. Or you could go kilos, two pounds, 
and the word two preceded and followed by our measurement units it gives us the conversion uh, gadget from Google and of course if you do something like this this time the asterisk is going to be considered as a multi as the multiplication uh, symbol so you've got the gadget the calculator or you can replace by the X as you can see it actually gave us the result already here so we don't even have to do go enter other than that you should know that punctuation is not um, taken into consideration so if you go go to um, travel Paris and if you go travel Paris it's the same thing but there are some symbol and punctuations symbols and punctuation um, signs that are taken into consideration so if you go Kodak 400 it will give you yeah the two things but if you go Kodak hundred dollars it will give you this so um, this uh, the dollar sign is taken into consideration or if you use the minus sign or the dash normally it means exclude but let's say it again recipe minus banana in order for the minus to mean exclude you've got to have uh, empty space here but if you go um, year old so you're gonna find results where year old uh, it's like using something like double quotes the dash here means that they are they are strongly connected so there you go you've got year old year old and then you've got the underscore so if you use sorry uh, if you use the underscore here it means that it's either going to search for year old connected or it's going to be with an underscore so there you go year old uh, for example if you go quick silver It could be either Quicksilver with, it, with an underscore or Quicksilver connected with without an underscore or an empty space. The last operator we're going to look at is um, the operator around. So imagine you need to read something about Bert and Ernie. And um, if you write it like that, you could um, stumble upon web pages where you've got Bert um, in the beginning and then Ernie at the end and there is no no connection whatsoever so if you want the two to be um, closely close one to, to the other so you could go like that one means that they are going to be um, consecutive Bert is going to be followed by Ernie um, if you go to this is a distance between the two terms Bert and Ernie and you can work on the distance like that you could go Bert blah 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 Ernie or you could go only and of course somewhere like here Bert and you Ernie so there you go uh, in the next video we're going to talk about the advanced search uh, options